Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set the amp gains for your car amplifier using an oscilloscope. And this is the one which I am using. It is linked in the description of this video. A limitation of this oscilloscope is if your car amp requires a test tone of 45 hertz or below, this one is not going to work for you this will work for 45 and above so how do you turn this on well you have the power button on the bottom you're going to do a long press and that is going to turn it on so here it is this oscilloscope has now been turned on then you have the test leads which came with it so we're going to take these and these you need to connect on the top so here it is we've put in the test leads these have two ends you have a black end and you have a red end so take your RCS which are coming out from the head unit and the red one goes to the center post of the RCA out and the black one goes to the outer part over here so this part is the ground that is where the black one goes and you can connect it to the same RCA terminal or you can connect it to the other one as long as both of them are coming out from your car's head unit another thing you need to make sure is that if you have any base treble equalizer settings on the head unit of your car then make sure that those are either turned off or set to zero another thing to know about this oscilloscope is that on the top you have this switch which says okay so you can give it a flick to the left or you can give it a flick to the right let me show you how that works so if i give it a flick to the left you will soon notice that text is highlighted so here it is you can see you have ac in blue if i give it another flick to the left you have five milliseconds in blue and similarly x1 and we can go up to two volts once you have the option highlighted you can actually use the arrow buttons over here to change that specific option so that is the basic functionality of this oscilloscope and of course when you are doing car amp gains you do want to set it to ac dc is not going to work all right so we have our oscilloscope hooked to the head unit of the car and we are playing the test tone which our amp manufacturer had recommended so here it is you can actually see the sine wave on the display if you change the time that just changes how many waves you can actually see so adjust this one accordingly similarly for x10 you can actually go up to 100 volts if you change it to x 10 and with x1 you can go to a maximum of 10 volts now with 10 volts i'm not able to see the wave properly so i'm going to reduce this and change it to say one volt now what is clipping clipping is when this sine wave on the top or the bottom is not a perfect semicircle let me show you as i increase the volume from the head unit you will see this wave begins to deform there it is this is the point of clipping you can see that the wave at the top and the bottom is not a complete or a perfect semi circle you do not want to send a clipped signal from your head unit to the amplifier or from the amplifier to the subwoofer so we need to reduce the volume a little bit and there it is this is the point wherein i have no clipping so i have successfully set the gains or now i know the maximum volume from my head unit to the amplifier which is not going to send a deformed or a clipped signal so that is the maximum volume you can run from the head unit keep note of that and keep that volume over there and another important thing about this specific oscilloscope is sometimes the wave becomes too big for the display in which case you just need to move it down let me show you how so right now we have one v in blue if i switch the toggle on the top with one flick to the left you see that the arrow now has the blue and now if i press the down keys there it is you can see the down key is moving the wave down so you can move this all the way down you just are going to work with half the wave but it is still going to show you distortion or clipping so there it is we can now see distortion or clipping and if i reduce the volume a little bit from the head unit there it is there is no distortion or clipping and this is the level which i'm going to set my volume on the head unit as next thing we have to set the gain on the amplifier so we'll go in the trunk and again black connects to the 
black output or the negative output from the amplifier and red connects to the positive output going into your speakers or the subwoofer feel free to put these leads in the amplifier or you can connect them to the wires as well again those are your speaker or amplifier output wires coming from the head unit black to negative and red to positive next thing we need to do is set the filters on the amplifier so gain is set to minimum low pass i have turned it off if you do not have the option of turning it off you have to set it all the way to the maximum subsonic or high pass that needs to be turned off or minimum and bass boost is also turned off and set to minimum you can adjust those later on once you have matched the gain right here again as you can see it is set to minimum so make sure you set everything to minimum and all filters are right now turned off including bass boost then we're going to repeat the same process so head unit volume is set to maximum right below clipping and now we're playing the test tone which the amp manufacturer has suggested and increasing the gain button on your amplifier Till you reach the point of clipping and then just dial it down a little bit so that the sine wave is a perfect circle there is no distortion or the sine wave is not deformed and that is it easy peasy that is how you set your car amp gains using an oscilloscope